Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> well there everybody, welcome back. I'm Mesenzog. Welcome back from more Grand Theft Auto Online. So as you can tell by my shirt, we're getting ourselves a Pegasi. Yeah, a very different type of Pegasi. You might think supercar, but instead it's a super SUV. So we're going to get the brand new Pegasi Taurus. Yep, just released uh, yesterday on December 18th. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to order one to our Del Perro, and uh, then I think we'll go set it up in our office garage. Go back to there for this one. <laughs> so brand new car. It came out with the Arena War DLC, and I thought we'd grab it. Yeah, there's a bunch of new vehicles with the Arena War DLC. Most of them came out to um, kind of dealing with the arena itself, although you could turn some of them into streetcars. Um, but this is the first vehicle as part of the DLC that's just a regular car given to us in the first week. Yep, just before the holidays. So very cool. So let's go check it out. Lots to see about it. Yeah, it's a SUV. Oh, we got to order it first, don't we? Let's just order it right here. <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> All right, so you can find it under Legendary Motorsport. All right, part of Arena War. Yeah, we just got our uh, Spectre Custom the last episode, so something old and now something new. Seats four. Yeah, Pegasi Torres. What, to, uh, what do a 23rd century hypercar and a family-friendly SUV have in common? More than you might think. They both turn into <laughs> you into a lead-footed, tailgated sociopath the moment you touch the gas. And they both do roughly the same miles per gallon as a burning oil well. <laughs> with all that shared DNA, it was only a matter of time before someone left them in a dark left them in a dark showroom to see if they would breed. And the Torres is the result. So very cool, <laughs> very cool. And uh, four hundred ninety-eight thousand. So that's actually not too bad, especially for a Pegasi and uh, for a brand new vehicle. So it's not cheap, but I wouldn't call it expensive. And basically, to me, this is kind of a luxury SUV. So, kind of a Lamborghini SUV. So, in uh, most people think this is a, uh, like a real-life uh, Urus, uh, Lamborghini Urus. And uh, the Urus actually stands for, uh, is kind of a type of uh, Aurex. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. But an Aurex is like a, a, a type of ox from hundreds of years ago. So, and an ox is a kind of bull. And the Torres is Spanish for bull. So, yeah. So that's why it's Torres. And I had to look it up. You would think it's Toros, Toros, but it's actually, uh, most people think it's the Spanish word for bull because of the Lamborghini connection. So, Torres. Yeah. Not that it matters that much. You can say it any day you want it. <laughs> so there's an orange one. Um, hmm, not sure what I'm going to get. I, I might even get just a business black SUV kind of thing, but I'm not really sure. I might even get something kind of blue-green. So maybe we'll get a red because I think it looks awesome in red. And uh, I don't think I'm actually going to pick a red. So we'll get one of those. And uh, although it's tempting to get maybe yellow or orange. Hmm. And you guys might want to pick it up. It's got a good price. Or wait and see if there's a sale on it in the coming weeks. Hopefully there will be, being a new vehicle. Order Del Barrow Heights. There we go. 498,000. Down, gone. <laughs> Gotta take pictures. Good? All right. Why are you crossing in front of a vehicle? That's not smart. <laughs> yep, that's why they get run down in Los Santos all the time. <laughs> Don't know how to use the crossing walks properly. Or the sidewalks for that matter. <laughs> Alright, having fun with my uh, my James Bond Spectre custom. Yeah, thanks. You just told me, nice ride. Yeah, we'll just pull right in here. Still got the Jingle Bells horn on. Holidays just around the corner. Might see snow this Friday. That would be very cool. All right, let's head inside. First chance I've had to use my new Pegasi t-shirt. <laughs> I think it just unlocked this week. Yeah, probably with the, uh, the Pegasi Torres that we're getting now. All right, so, so another question might be, why might you want to get one of these? Well, I want to get one of these because I don't have a, um, um, a luxury SUV, a business SUV. And uh, I'm not sure. I'd have to go looking through all my vehicles, but I'm not sure if I have any SUVs. You know, I'm not really sure. Maybe a Patriot or something like that. I don't know. But, but those are SUVs too, but I don't really have any SUVs. Hmm. And it is a class of vehicles, so there is race classes, if you will, the, for the SUV class. And uh, interestingly enough, this new vehicle is definitely number one for now. 
Um, so yeah, by roughly 1322's testing that we love to use, uh, his, uh, I think there's roughly about 26 SUVs in the class. And this is first in lap time in tight turns and twists and turns, figure eights, things like that, and top speed. So it's first in lap time and first in top speed. Pretty cool. Yep. Now, for those that are curious, the uh, the Contender, which is a very cool truck that I still have to get, uh, that's the second place one. Oh, very cool. There it is. And it does look great. A little while ago, I was thinking about getting a, best, a business SUV because I didn't actually have one. I, I kind of, you know, I got a lot of parking spots, so I want a little bit of everything here and there. Ones I like, of course. Um, and I was thinking about the Strider, the Benefactor Strider that came out, I think, last holidays, last year. But uh, this one came out and I thought, oh, that's nice. That's perfect. And look at those vents, stock and everything. There she is. Very cool. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, so it seems to be, like I said, based on the Lamborghini Urus, um, with taillight influences from the Aventador. Aventador? Aventador. Yeah. Oh, I can kind of see that a little bit. Yeah, not really on an SUV, but you can kind of see the way it curves a little bit. Hmm. Oh, what? Why the LJT? Hey, it's yeah. LJT. I know, I know. Oh, 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 I lost connection. Oh, it's bad connection in the garage. <laughs> Let's see what it sounds like. Nice, simple, but sounds good. And it's got exhausts on the corners there, another different vehicle. I think we had one just a little while ago that had exhausts like that. But this is only the uh, second vehicle I've seen to have uh, exhausts on the corners like that. Very cool. All right, yeah, so like I said, number one in the class right now. And it's very fast. So this is actually faster than many sports cars, and it's actually faster than some supercars. So I wouldn't recommend racing it against those things or anything like that, but uh, it actually can perform very well. So we're gonna go find out. Now at the time of my recording this, I imagine Rockstar will fix this, um, but just so you guys know, we're gonna make sure we get a front bumper um, because apparently there's a, a bit of a mess up. Spoilers usually give you more traction and that helps you with speed. But apparently there's a bit of a bug. So Whoa. right now, for whatever reason, if you want the traction upgrade, you need to get the front bumper upgrade. And that's for whatever reason, the game sees that as a spoiler. So I know that's strange, but hopefully they'll fix that bug. But basically, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of backwards that way. But so make sure you get a uh, front bumper upgrade in the meantime. Yeah, people taking pictures already. Look at it. It looks nice. Look at those headlights. Pretty cool. Oh, I like that. So modern looking. The, the cross beams in the middle and then it all lights up. Awesome. Let's open it up. See what opens, what doesn't. Oh, look at that. Nice looking engine. I don't know why the back door closed. <laughs> you have that menu open. It kind of swings around funny. All right. Yep, Gossy logo right there, and the uh, and on the uh, the engine itself, all kinds of logos and, and uh, I guess libraries. Yeah, looks like the uh, paint jobs there too. You can see the red lines, like our paint job here. Cool. So a nice looking engine. I need a man so bad. <laughs> and the back does not open. Interestingly enough. Cool. And these are the stock rims. They're similar to some other vehicles. I do know that you can, I'm probably gonna change mine, but you can actually color these, I'm pretty sure, at least this one line. So you get the fins in there. So we could give it red lines along here if we wanted to, it to match with the uh, rest of the red. So you'd have to use the iFruit app for that. Like we've covered in some of our other episodes. Yep, buy a cheap rim and then paint it the color you want and then uh, order on the iFruit stock tires and it'll give you back the stock tires and keep the color that you picked. But I'm gonna pick a tire this time around, I think. Yep, nice clean interior. <laughs> Typical horn. Nice big rims. <laughs> it is an SUV after all. Yep. Oh, she's got lots of uh, Lots of purr, lots of growl right off the bat. Woohoo. Whoa, slow down. There we go. <laughs> so 
centralized dashboard there. Yep, kind of unique headlights and whatnot on the front and on the back. Rear lights, I guess it would be. It does have reverse lights too. Yeah, very cool. I like this. It's very fast. For a stock vehicle, this is awesome. Oh yeah, I did hear it's a little bit bouncy. <laughs> you can see that. But, you know, it is controllable. As it slides, I'm whoa, able to keep control until then. I didn't try to turn very hard. I should have used my all-wheel brake there. But that's okay. For stock, that's pretty awesome. And away it goes. Just look at that. Take off and just ready. <laughs> but you do want to watch that bounce. That is a crazy bounce. Oh, that is our turn. Yeah, so it doesn't do the sharpest cornering, but it's got great traction. But this is stock stealth, so maybe we'll judge that after we upgrade it. But even without the best cornering, you just use your all-wheel brake more often if you need it. Hmm. Take it into the business office for now. Fix the headlight. <laughs> All right. Very cool. Time to upgrade it. What can we do to it? Everything. Pegasi Torres. What are you up? Well, it's tempting to call it Toros. Torres, but it's Torres. <laughs> I think. I think. Armor upgrade. Alright, 100% for 50,000. Brakes. Race brakes for 35,000. Don't you wish you could put the brakes on light? And. Yeah. Yeah, let's get it. Uh, Engine level four, 33,500. Hmm, exhaust, yeah. So let's see, where is the exhaust? Oh, there, there. Yeah, right. Life in the corners. So we can get quad exhaust in the corner. Very cool. And titanium quad, see, so you now you get the blue trim on it, just barely noticeable. Cool. Aluminum quad exhausts. Twin bore, exhaust, titanium twin bore, and aluminum twin bore, and trivector exhausts, trivector, oh cool, and it does seem to match with the vehicle, like it actually has spots for it, as opposed to some other ones where the different exhausts don't quite match with the vehicle, this one actually has a spot for it, that's cool, yep, titanium trivector and aluminum trivector, then you get big bore exhausts and titanium big bore and aluminum big bore. That's all of them. Well, that's cool. A lot of funky options. And the stock ones are kind of different too. I like a lot of these options. But I think I might go with those triangular ones. Why not? Hmm. Before I pick that, let's go to the uh, bumpers, front bumpers. Is there a rear bumper? No. Hmm. No rear bumper. Well, if there's no rear bumper, then then we don't have to worry about changing the look too much. Then. Okay, so trivector exhaust, titanium trivector, and aluminum trivector. Give us some time, time, titanium. <laughs> Try that again. Give it some titanium. There we go. Titanium trivector exhaust. 13,750. All right. We should have more coffee. Coffee helps. Coffee helps with language. And many other things, too. <laughs> All right. Front bumpers. And like I said, this is kind of the spoiler for now until Rockstar fixes it. All right. Custom diffuser. That's nice. Carbon diffuser. It's a little bit more carbon on it. Shark diffuser. 
Yeah, very sharky. Carbon shark. Pegasi diffuser. Ooh, and you get the Pegasi sign there. Interesting. And then carbon. And street build. So you get the little uh, extra bumper there and little wires there. Cool. And Pegasi carbon. Pegasi street build. And none. Oh, I do like that. I like a lot of those. The shark diffuser is really nice Whatever too. It gives decide. it a nice mean look. Technology and budget. If I was going business all black, which I was thinking about, I might be tempted to add something like that. But that's a little bit more showy to get something like this. Yeah, maybe I'll get a street build. Hmm. It looks like it's just regular, like a flat black. But I guess it does match a lot of the rest Making of it anyway. It already has a bunch of carbon type parts on it and mesh work for the uh, for the vents and everything anyway. Hmm. So as you guys can see, that traction bar in the bottom of it, see a little blue spot that you can barely see, it disappears and reappears, disappears under traction. So the bumper probably shouldn't do that, but it does. Do you need a drink? Bubbles or something? All right. I do like that, so I'm going to get it. Just don't know about carbon or not. Yeah, I think so, because everything else is already carbon anyway. So carbon Gazi Street build it is, 17,500. We can get grill work as well. Chrome trim, carbon trim. We should have a look at the libraries too, if probably. You can think it, street I grill, can think it. carbon street grill, which you can barely see, but that's kind of cool. And the performance grill, carbon performance grill, roadster grill, roadster carbon roadster grill, chrome exposed intercooler, carbon exposed intercooler. And luxury grill. How many cars you got in this Funky. garage again? And carbon luxury grill. Chrome combination spec. Hmm. So I guess that's got the intercooler with the luxury grill. And the carbon combination spec. And that's just regular stock again. Oh, I do like a lot of those actually. But I do like the darkened out ones. Yeah, luxury is nice. Yeah, I think I might go with the carbon luxury. Oh, the intercooler is like the uh, combination. It's tempting. But I think Life I like that. Hard when you can have anything. Carbon luxury grill. $6,050. All right, now before I move on, let's go to the library here for a second. Classic stripes, which I think looks great on this vehicle. Might even use them myself. Orange Torres. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Cool. That'd be really cool on a lot of different ones, like a black one. Purple Vandal. Very funky. Blue Vandal. It's a blue funky. <laughs> Offset global oil. Global oil. Yeah, I guess that's the offset part right there. Fukaharu, Fukaharu, winter. Whatever you desire. Technology awesome. And budget it does have that winter rally look to it. Fukaharu Ranger. All right, and Stanzo Stripes. Debonair X Mindmach. Hmm. And Spartoros. <laughs> Spartoros. Making decisions is stressful. Number 44. And then none again. So like I said, I might give it some stripes. I do like that. Classic stripes. Yep. Mud guards. There's mud guards. Mud guards. You can get the mud guards. <laughs> well, sold. <laughs> $900 mode guards. Why not? Let's change our plate. Mizzen sock. There we go. Yellow on black. There you go. Thank you. All right. Uh, we'll get some of these other ones. Suspension. Yeah, we do want to lower it down. Race suspension. 
4,600. Transmission. Ooh, super transmission. So usually you go down instead of uh, the regular high end one, it's super transmission. Hmm. I guess it's because it's a Picasso. <laughs> 50,000. More than the regular 40,000 racing one. Very cool. Turbo for 50,000. Okay. She's ready for takeoff. Yeah, ready for takeoff. All right. So, hood. Striped hood. Yep, yeah, striped hood. Yeah, striped hood. Not striped hood. Striped hood. But I like those vents. Mm. Carbon striped hood. Bevel hood. Do you need a drink? That's Bevels awesome. Or something? Carbon bevel. Performance hood. That's cool. You can like see right in there. Huh. And uh, carbon performance. Mark one dispersion hood. Ooh. Carbon mark one. Mark two dispersion hood. You can think it. I can do it. And the vanity hood. <laughs> don't know if I have bought any vanity hoods yet. Maybe a little bit with my Cheetah Classic, I think. But uh, yeah, I haven't had any vehicles with that. It's got to be the right vehicle for something like that. Now, personally, I do find that Mark II very mean looking. I like a lot of these, actually. I like the regular stock vents. And I like the, uh, the bevels. That's nice. And the performance hood's kind of cool. It's mean looking openness. Openness that looks like a vent, but you got the added detail of actually being able to see it. That's cool. But I do like that Mark Mark uh, II dispersion head. Just gives it that race lean. Hmm. Twelve thousand four hundred. Sold. All right. Should we get it a horn? Yeah. Regular horn. Well, yeah. It needs a truck horn, but. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, truck horn. <laughs> uh, all right. Headlights. Hmm, we could get colored headlights at the arena. I'm not sure I really need them. I kind of like that look, actually, the way it is. We'll see. See you on lights for 7,500. Okay, roof options, carbon detail, ridged roof, so it's got that ridge that you can just see there, yep. carbon ridged, sport, sports roof, that's funky, carbon sports, and I like how that's got the red in the middle, like uh, how it's got your primary color along with the carbon, that's awesome, nice little detail. Roof rack. Hmm. Oh, I don't have any vehicles with a roof rack. It'd be kind of cool in the in the in the winter, <laughs> in the snow. Four deck generators. Cool. And it gives you. Oh yeah, the antenna's already there. Oh no, the antenna's not there. Let's go back to stock. Yeah, stock, no antenna. And the antenna appears with the car with the uh, roof rack. And then the vortex generators and the carbon vortex generator. Cool. No oh, I like a lot of those. I like the vortex generators. I wish it was kind of a uh, roof rack with vortex generator. Hmm. That'd be all right. Well, it's an SUV. We're going with sporty race. So <laughs> I'm going roof rack. <laughs> I do not know why. I kind of think I might want to go with the vortex generators, but roof rack it is. I like it. Skirts. All right, primary extended skirt. Secondary extended skirt. Carbon. Primary race skirt. That gives you the little fins right there. And they have the little uh, Pegasi badge on them as well, right there. It shakes a little bit when I go back and forth with the controls. And you can get that secondary race skirt in primary, secondary, and uh, carbon, I should say. Yeah. 
Making decisions is stressful. I don't usually use a lot of carbon, but I've already got carbon on the front and some on the back and whatnot, so I might actually go with the carbon. And it still has the Picasso little badges right there too. So carbon race skirt it is. Fifteen thousand. Skirts are done. Spoiler, which apparently doesn't do anything, but we're gonna add it anyway because <laughs> it'll probably look good. So it's got upper spoilers and lower spoilers. What's a lower spoiler? Okay, that's a loyal lower spoiler. Hmm. What's an upper spoiler? Okay. Need a drink? Cool. Or All right, let's go to the lower spoilers. So the lower spoiler, we can get bolted ducktail. So stock again, and then bolted ducktail. It's hard to get a good view on, but it basically just sticks out a little bit better, a little bit more. And then you've got carbon bolted, bolted inset ducktail, and carbon bolted inset ducktail. <laughs> hmm. Well, I do like my color. Like I'm not gonna, I'm gonna change the red anyway, but. Uh, but I do like the uh, the primary being all over up here. So I think I'm going to pick one that keeps the uh, primary color. I kind of like that bolted inset ducktail. Just kind of gives it a little bit of extra funkiness. It's got the curves that kind of come out over the lights. Looks like it still goes with the uh, the frame and the bodywork and everything. So bolted inset ducktail it is. 11,700. Upper spoilers. All right, carbon detail. Ooh, arrow spoiler. Ooh, what's that? Split arrow spoiler. Well, that's different. Kind of, kind of cool actually, because it kind of goes with my uh, with my lower spoiler. Cool. Low level spoiler. Oh, it's up here. Yeah, where you can see the carbon changing. Yeah, insert ducktail, so that one kind of matches the bottom, but it's on the top. Carbon insert, inset ducktail, dual wing. Mm, these are kind of cool, actually. I like that. Dual wings and carbon dual wing, so it mixes your color with the carbon. And then back to stock. Wow, that's really hard choices. That's some really funky choices there. I like the different ones like that. That's kind of cool. I like them all. Mm -hmm. But for my look, I think I actually like that carbon dual wing. Just because it gives me some more carbon uh, detail near the antenna there. And then on top of that, you've still got your primary color sitting right there too on top of it with the dual, dual wings. But I like a lot of them. It's hard to decide. Mm -hmm. 15,500. So old. Uh. All right. I think we already picked our suspension and transmission. Yep. Let's go before we do that. Let's do our respray and see if there's any kind of uh, interior colors. Yep, there's a trim color. It's nice looking interior too. No like nice looking seats. Look comfortable. <laughs> and it's got three seats in the back instead of a bench seating or uh, dual seats or anything like that. It's kind of got the triple seat back there, even though it does only seat four. All right. Oh, we'll see if we can come out here. Whatever you desire. Technology and budget permitting. Yeah, it's really hard to see. And I'm wearing sunglasses too, but it looks like it's just this uh, the trim right there. All the little stitch work around the uh, the doors and around the seats. Yeah, yeah, and around the dashboard, but not a whole lot of detail for the trim. It doesn't change the color of the seating or uh, or the interior trim or anything like that. Just kind of the stitch work, really. Still very cool. Yeah, just 
just wanted to see. So it does have a primary and secondary. Need a drink? Bubbles or something? You can always give it extra chrome for the secondary. <laughs> if you want to do. That gives you the line right along there. There, something like lime green helps it to stand out. So you can see some of the spots where it shows up. Not too many spots though, but a couple. If you can think it, I can do it. That's why I like deer. <laughs> There's a chromed out one. <laughs> and metals, breast steel. Ignore that. Ignore that uh, secondary red there. Brushed black steel. Which again looks really good on this. Brushed aluminum, pure gold, and brushed gold. How many cars you got in this garage again? Metallic. So we'll go through the mats. Yeah, this one could actually do a pretty good mat, I bet, too. Mean looking black. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so there's your black one, more or less. Then we've got silvers, rolled steels, stone silver. Looks great. Go through the rest of colors here. The reds, which we already thought looked good. I think looks great. It's awesome red. Yeah, very sporty. Not too many times I think sporty when it comes to SUVs. <laughs> but this one does look sporty, I have to admit. Dark blue, which actually looks really nice. I was thinking about a blue green kind of thing. We'll see. Diamond blue, surf blue, nautical blues, ultra blue, chocolate brown, bison brown, no rush at all. No, not bad at all. Wood beach brown, spinnaker purples, midnight purple. Bright purple and cream and nice white. Does nice white and black. Frost white. Love red, hot pink. <laughs> Whatever you and gasoline have. green. Technology and budget permitting. Pretty cool. Now, I look at those blues again and the greens. Hmm. Yeah, I think I was thinking about the sea green, but it looks different on different vehicles. It looks pretty dark on this one. That doesn't mean that I couldn't brighten it up with a uh, pearlescent or something, though. And the nice all black definitely looks good. default was just to get a black for the company. <laughs> black SUV, but I decided maybe we will give it a little bit more after all. <laughs> and I'm giving other things a chance. I do like a lot of them. The oranges, the reds. I do like that original red. But, but I think I am going to go with kind of something with color and something dark too. Mm, those look good too. Mm, so hard to decide. <laughs> Sometimes. No, but I think we're going to go with, uh, what is it, the sea green? Yeah, sea green, after all. 15,080. But we're not done yet. Not done yet. Hmm, maybe we're going to brighten that up a little bit. So it's like a harbor blue pearlescent, apparently. So I do want to brighten that up. Yeah, it's a sea green. Gonna kind of blaze through, just gonna get an idea which one's breaking it up. Nice white always does, but sometimes too much. It's not bad though. Get by the reds 
the oranges. Blues. And back to the greens. So we went through the blues, now I'm going through the greens. Looking for something that changes that sea green just a little bit more the way I like. The way I want. deeper blue. I'm looking for a more subtle one. So actually I think we might have found it though. Yeah, possibly the harbor blue is actually not bad. Brightens it up for the sea green. Diamond blue is nice. I was thinking about that. Very bright, but not as bad as the, uh, not too bright like the ice white can be. Surf blue is a little bit more blue than the uh, diamond blue is. More white. Bluish. Whitish, well, whitish, bluish, there. <laughs> and nautical blue is kind of the same, a little bit more blue, but darker. And then you start getting into the more too blue for what I'm looking for. Whatever you desire. Technology and budget permit. So in the front. Yeah, I think, because I'm looking to brighten it up a little bit. Yeah, just wanted to see what it looked like with it off again for a second. Yeah, I think I will go with the Surf Blue. Making decisions surf Blue stressful. for 3,900. Looks almost as good On the Sea Green. Okay, secondary color. Metallic. Now, I might, you know, it's tempting to give that black. But I think I'm going to go with the same color. The same uh, Sea Green. Uh, I've been the wrong way. We'll go that way. There. <laughs> All black. Well, black secondary, I should say, which is nice. Do you need a drink, bubbles, or something? And you can give it a lot of offsetting things like whites and things like that. But I think I want mine to uh, match, so let's find that sea green. There we go. You've nice clean look. Nice and clean. And it's almost almost a Lamborghini-ish color, I think. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, the trim I might just leave black. If you can think it, I can do it. Go with a gasoline green trim. Which we can barely see, but it makes a subtle little detail. Yeah, but I think you barely notice it, and I think it looks actually better in black anyway. How many cars you got in this garage again? Yeah, we're gonna darken it. Just give it black for four twenty. Cosmetics are on point. I like it dark in there. All right, windows. Low tint. Girl is looking good. Yeah, she's getting there now. Mm -hmm. I'll quickly go over here to Livery. And I think I'm going to give it the classic stripes. Yeah, we'll go through those quickly, though. I do like that uh, the blue vandals and the purple vandal. That's cool. You could probably come up with all kinds of awesome stuff with that. A lot of these are really nice, actually, for the race, uh, the race liveries. And if you're looking for something oh, stockish, the Tauros is nice, too. And the classic stripes. Classic Stripes for only 18,240. <laughs> awesome. All right. I like that. And I believe this is our last thing now, guys. Our wheels. Wheel type. We actually get SUV wheels. They probably look really great with uh, off-road wheels, if you ask me. But it's not every day you have an SUV, so maybe I should get an SUV wheel. Let's go through them. VIP. Hmm, it's actually pretty good with a car like that, actually, I think. Some chrome on that, the Benefactor. Cosmo. Hmm, I'll just kind of go through them. Yeah. That's kind of cool, too. 
we can color these, of course. I might just color them black. But it'd be tempting to give them the green. Dash VIPs. <laughs> Always look great. <laughs> There's dash VIPs in a couple different categories, I think. Yeah, VIP. I do like the chrome, but uh, we don't really have any chrome anywhere else. Really. So, I don't think we need any more chrome. I think it stands out. It's okay, but I don't know. I like the darker look for this one. And the OBRS, I think a lot of people are using. Looks really good. Yeah. Lots of good choices in there. The off-road tires would be great, too. You know, maybe some Amazons or something like that. But I think, actually, strangely, I'm going to go with VIP. I don't know why. Let's see how it looks when I color it. It's weird. It's funky. It's almost like a Penny's rim. And I'm near certain I've never used that one before. <laughs> but it uh, it has a strange quality to me to it that I kind of like. It kind of goes with the car for some reason to me. I don't know. 18,100. Sold. All right, we all color in black. Oh, I pressed the button, that's okay. It's only 590. <laughs> I did want to see what it looked like, maybe with some greens. There's all of green. Yeah, it does have that uh, little bit of a chrome rim ring anyway. But that's okay. You can also do it to match that little string, that little uh, line right there, down the middle. Or try to match it. Something like that desert tan, maybe? No. A lighter green of some sort. Like that straw brown, kind of. There isn't quite that shade, but there's a couple that are close to it. That's frost right, white. Frost right. <laughs> frost white. Geez, I gotta have some more coffee today. But uh, it doesn't really look white. If you ask me, it almost looks like a gray, like a dull gray. There's stone silver, black steel. I'm back to the black. It looks good with black, of course. But that stone silver is kind of nice too. Yep, uh, I, it's close to pick that stone silver or to pick one of the uh, lighter blacks like the carbon black or anthracite black. But I do like the black. Sometimes black shoes are nice. Goes with the black windows and all the other black trim. Sometimes you have to see it to decide though. Custom tires. Yeah. For 5,000, we'll give it the words atomic. <laughs> expensive tires. Or expensive words, I should say. Expensive letters. Bulletproof tires for 2,500. 25,000, I should say. Yeah. Well, that'll help for business use. Black tire smoke? Yeah. Yeah. We don't need green on this one, but it's tempting. Black is good. Okay. I think that is done. Oh, I think we did it all. We did it all. We did. She looks great. I could hop out of the vehicle, but let's just take her down. Alright, thank you. Be your best you, everyone. <laughs> hey, it's LJT. What? Oh, I lost connection again, LJT. <laughs> it's, uh... Yeah, I'll get back to you. <laughs> wow, I'm impressed already. Like, this really looks good. I like that. For what it is which is an SUV. It's pretty awesome. I like that. Even has the triple fire out of our triple exhaust. It's kind of messing around with it. It burns out really easily, but it doesn't burn out like a muscle car does. I wouldn't expect it to, I suppose. Wow, sounds great. 
And it's thinner than I would have thought it would be. Yeah. There she is, all done, everybody. Very cool. I'm happy with that. Very, very happy with that. So let's see if we can go. How fast can we go? <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Pretty awesome for an SUV. I like the look to it, the lean, lean back stance to it. And, yeah, very dark, at least the way I do mine anyway. Nice dark mean look. So I'm quite happy with that. Like I said, I've set out to, uh, well my default would have been just to do a uh, uh, black business one. You know, black CIA kind of kind of uh, SUV. But I, I wasn't sure about the chances or choices. It just came out yesterday, so I wasn't really sure what uh, what kind of livery choices we'd get and what kind of colors would look good on it. And uh, I'm really happy with the way that turned out. But like I said, the reds and other stuff like that look amazing too. And as you guys can tell, it's very fast, very very fast. Keeping in mind that it's an SUV, <laughs> you know. It's, uh, it's not a sports car or a supercar or any or a muscle car. It's a SUV. <laughs> so when you keep that in mind, this thing's friggin' fast. <laughs> yep, and easy to maneuver. Feels like a dream. It's no problems. Yeah, I wouldn't think, like I think this would do just fine off-road. But I think it, its main, uh, it would be a city SUV more than it is a, an off-road or anything like that, in my opinion. But I wouldn't be surprised if it does alright off-road, but there's much better choices than this for off-roading. But we're hitting the, uh, the top of the map pretty fast. <laughs> whoa, 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 oh. All right. Well, very cool, everybody. Let's head back. So far, <laughs> already. Awesome. Well, I hope you liked our new one, the Bagasi Taurus SUV. Yep. Brand new car out with the Arena War just now. But just now, yeah, just now, just this week, yesterday. <laughs> I'll bring it back into the garage. But yeah, very happy with that. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> My truck horn. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. All right. A nice choice from Pegasi. Very cool. All right, everybody. Well, I hope that makes you uh, makes you helps make you helps helps you helps make you <laughs> helps you to make up your mind if you want a Pegasi Taurus, a bull or not too. <laughs> wow. Jeez, I gotta get myself a new pair of lips. <laughs> uh. So thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And most of all, thanks just for being here. And we'll see you guys uh, again soon. Yep, for more Arena War, probably. And, of course, Red Dead 2. I'm going to get back into that. Um, but, yeah, some more Arena Wars. We have to get back into that. But I just kind of felt like a couple vehicles. And so I thought something old, something new was just the right time of year for that. And so we got our custom Spectre. In the, uh, our Spectre custom, I should say. In our uh, previous episode. And now we got something new. Brand, brand new. The Pegasi Taurus. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. And for uh, 498000 I don't think you can go wrong with that at all. A new SUV winner. Take care, everybody. We'll see you again soon. Ooh.
Wow. It's okay, it's okay. All the windows are intact. <laughs> Gotta keep going. <laughs> oh, ouch. Oh, you know, that, that didn't do any damage to me. Cool. Maybe the roll cage worked. Take care, everyone.